Hi, and good afternoon to everybody that's joined us today. Um, myself, Aaron Sethi, and uh, Simon Needham from Colbus Auto Box are back with you. Today, uh, we're going to be talking to you about our Multi Nova Glue. We're going to start by showing you how the machine makes a variety of uh, run lengths, sizes, and styles efficient due to its high speed and, and quick set time. Uh, we're then going to finish by comparing this machine to a traditional semi-automatic gluer and a, and a fully automatic four to six point gluer uh, just to show you the differences. Good afternoon. Um, one of the main features of this gluer is, is the short make ready time on it. Uh, but equally it's the flexibility which makes it attractive to people uh, by being able to glue not only straight line work uh, but you can also manage quite easily uh, three point uh, crash lock boxes for, for, for example. It's uh, a very well known established gluer dating back to the Andrew and Suter days of manufacture who were a hundred year old company. It's versatile for short, medium, and large volume boxes, something that we're gonna to touch on later towards the end of this presentation. So here's your straight line die cut box with varying panel sizes, something that the Multinova is extremely uh, capable at, um, being automatically fed from the bottom through to uh, a section that this is normally where you can place your lifting fingers for three-point work uh, and a carriage section to hold down your ears on, on three-point work, um, being processed by our Prio glue system, applying dotted cold PVA glue to one side of the box as it then enters the nylon rails towards an operator at the back of the machine to finish the box. Yeah, so as Aaron was saying, the machine works. How does it work? So the process of the machine is that the blanks are stacked in the feed hopper. They're bottom fed using high traction belts. Um, vacuum on a machine like this is not required. It, it would just only unnecessarily increase the price. Um, they travel through the backfold section, which is required when you're doing your three point work. Um, and then onto the three individual glue applicators um, and after that to, to the folding section and, and eventually to the operator. So as it, as it gets to the operator, the majority of the time you're going to be on a 90% fold, we call it. Uh, in some circumstances you'll be on 50% fold. It depends on the panel sizes in terms of how uh, large or small they are. The operator can then place the boxes back underneath the machine, which is a, is a big space-saving um, benefit of the machine, back towards the, the operator, uh, allowing the operator to continue to top up and, and stack and palletize finished boxes. Thanks, Aaron. And here are just a few examples of the more popular boxes uh, that can be processed on the machine. The Multinova can finish, it's around 150 different FEFCO styles in total. Anything, as we said, from simple straight line work all the way up to bottle carriers, as you can see. And as we touched on earlier, uh, the, the awkward panel sizes is a, is a very, very big uh, selling point of this Multinova. Uh, here's an example of a few of the maximums and minimum dimensions for varying sizes and styles. We can go into this in a bit more de detail after the webinar, um, if you would like. But as we continue, the next few videos, we're, we're hoping are going to show you a good selection of boxes that you can produce. And I, and I think you'll be pretty surprised. So this product is running at around 600 per hour. Uh, may not look it, but it is. It's only a short video, but um, it's, it's not a bad speed for such a big box with minimal handling. And as you can see, the boxes are not wholly folded by the time they reach the operator, but enough for them just to complete fold and, and then push underneath the machine to, to the compression section. And here's an example of a uh, tray where there are two guns in operation here both applying two strips of, of, of glue at two different places. 
And this trade is actually running at 30 a minute or, or 1800 an hour. So as we know, each job, each gluing job behaves differently. Each operator works slightly differently. What the Multinova does give is to provide the operator with uh, variable controls to optimize each job. So the sheet feed speed, the, the carrying section and compression section all have uh, different individual speed controls to give regulation uh, from the point of feed right down to, to, to the compression. And the, the gluing system that we use is a, is a pre gluing system. It actually has a memory for repeat jobs. You can choose to spray or dot your glue, managing the amount and the placement at all times. It's a fact that any gluer, especially a multi-point gluer, is only as good as the previous converting machine or ultimately how good it's creasing it. So that's why the, uh, the ability to, to choose these are, are extremely useful. So we're going to move on to crash lock boxes here. We feel that there's an industry demand for three-point work. Many sheet plants, they like the thought of being able to bring in-house three-point work, but they're not, assured, they're not certain or they're not aware of reasonable and more importantly, cost-effective solutions like our Multinova. Crash lock boxes are traditionally done on four to six-point gluers or even produced manually by hand at achieving around 200 boxes an hour. Uh, and as we know, four to six point gluers, going back to my second point there, they, they take up a large amount of space, they're large amounts of investment, and you need a, a lot of volume work to be keeping that full. The following video, uh, I think will answer a lot of your questions in regards to three point work. Um, it's running at 22 boxes a minute, which is around 1300 boxes an hour, uh, which is quite good for the, the size of product that we're showing here. What this video is showing you here is the, the lifting fingers that are pulling back uh, a couple of the panels there and then moving into the carriage section of the, of, of the Multinova, which are then being folded and, and returned to the operator at the back of the machine as a 90% as a finish. Multinova is <clears throat> capable of more. <clears throat> uh, we like to be pretty realistic with the run speeds and the data that we give. Um, and an average speed is around 1500 an hour. But it is capable, as you'll see in the next uh, couple of videos, of running a lot faster. Uh, I'll point out, as we did in the last um, webinar, that the, the videos uh, haven't necessarily been shot for, for the purposes of, of, of showing to people there. A lot of them are just for samples and things like that. So quality occasionally is a little bit variable. So bear with us. That's pretty rapid. <clears throat> Holding and putting underneath the compression, and off you go again. I think it's important to point out here, Simon, that uh, the machine is only as quick as the operator on the back end, so it does rely on a good operator experience. Uh, there is certainly a knack to taking off boxes off the Multinova, as any glue. Yeah, very true, <clears throat> very true. You get used to it, there's a, there's a coordination required and then the ability to, to square as you see and put under but you're, you're, you're right mm. so the key points um, Aaron I believe yeah so as Simon touched on it there 1500 is a very reasonable and, a, and approximate uh, run speed to be doing any justifications from uh, 
there are extremes of the machine as we've seen uh, 600 being one of the slowest of quite a large jumbo box for minimal handling purposes as well up to around 4,000 small die cut boxes as we've just seen per hour um, the set times of a, of a straight line job are roughly around three to five minutes and, and the say uh, for crash lock we're looking at around 15 minutes as we pointed out in that video you're only as good as the operator so they are for experienced operator times the longest set time usually comes when you go from a mini job up to a jumbo job <clears throat> there are a few bits to, to adjust uh, but like all machines planning the workflow uh, of jobs ensures maximum productivity we we obviously get asked how many operators does it take in, in such a society where we're very conscious about labor uh, and efficiencies? This is actually a machine that can work one operator, um, ideally two, as you've seen. But uh, I think the next video will demonstrate, um, I believe it was a customer in Guatemala who had a particular project and they placed three people on it, one at the front and two at the back, which enabled them to get around 48 boxes uh, a minute, which was around uh, 2,800 or close to 3,000 boxes an hour. Let's have a look at the video. So yeah, um, what do our customers say as well? So we have a number of users, of course, um, each with different criteria as to why they like the machine. And uh, certainly for Sutton's performance, um, they were finding that the machine, the, the Multinova, was three times faster than the, the semi-automatic, the machine that they used previously. It, it's mostly straight line work, um, but it's ideal where you've got varying panel sizes because of, that they get from their die cutter, just purely because of the, the ease of, of, of setting from one job to the next. Um, the guys at uh, Compass Packaging over in the States, um, they like the compact design. It, it, when you, you compare the, the footprint to, to other machines out there, it's small. It, it, it fits in, in, in factories all over the place. Um, and it's ideal for batches of between 500, 5,000, anything that's really coming off a, a, a die cutter. And over to France now, they bought the machine for a particular style of box, uh, an 0713 crash lock design in B flute. It had a very unusual height of, uh, of 1100 millimeters, which was previously closed using a hot melt adhesive. Uh, the Multinova automated this process uh, and enabled them to apply PVA, which uh, again enabled them to be more effective and consistent in their closing methods of, of this challenging box style. And uh, over to Bolivia, uh, Sagittario, their, their owner Juan Carlos uh, mentioned that he purchased the machine basically because it was, it was very flexible. It was, and it enabled him to produce on-demand boxes of varying moments. Yeah. So a comparison with, with semi-automatic gluers, I mean, they require a lot more manual handling. It's a stop-start process. You've got the blank being fed to you. You have to feed it, square it, receive the next one, and then eventually just flip them over once they're glued and, 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 and band them. So it's a much slower process. It's more useful when you're talking really small quantities, hundreds really, not, not into thousands. Um, so it does cater better for the real short runs and not the medium uh, runs. I mean, you could do a batch of a thousand, but that, you know, that could easily take you three hours to do. Um, so yeah, it it's, has its place, but the Multinova sits just above it uh, in, in, in ability and speed. Thanks, Si. And I think when you start looking at something that's uh, much faster, um, such as a four to six point gluer, you start evaluating things like the space that it takes up, a set time of possibly 30 to 45 minutes, um, where the Multinova has possibly already ran 750 to 900 boxes. 
you look at it from a you look at this from a capacity point of view, and, and if a four to six point brewer can run at ten thousand boxes an hour, that's five thousand or seven and a half thousand finished boxes that you are taking away from each set. You need to do of a, of a low to medium medium range quantity. Um, when you start looking at space, I know I mentioned it there that sometimes four to six point brewers, based on their compression sections, can take up twenty meters of space. The multi nova is four. So that makes the multi nova ideal for a space conscious sheet plant. Um, and, and when we talk about the speeds of the machine at 10,000, 20,000 an hour, where I've seen them in, in production facilities, sometimes they have two, three, four, five operators on the back end trying to keep up with the speed of the machine. Unless you automate this, adding more space and, and particularly cost to that type of machine, it's, it's very ineffective and actually quite labor draining. Um, the price point for a multi nova is, is, is around five, ten, sometimes fifteen times less expensive than these four to six point glues. Yeah, it's quite quite compelling when when you you look at it, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> in in conclusion, then really, um, the multi nova it's just an ideal solution for companies looking to build some volume without the need to buy as Aaron was saying a 20 meter long hundreds of thousands of pounds uh, four or six point glue with a set time of, of, of way too long for the for the job that's being run um it caters for some of the larger die cuts as well because it, it has got a good size range on it and as we just touched on there speeds you know varying from 600 to, to three and a half four thousand an hour you can see how these nuisance batches compared to semi-automatic or fully automatic become a lot more manageable and a lot more efficient. The set times, because we're three to five minutes for straight line or around 15 minutes for, for crash log, they're similar compared to semi-automatic machines uh, and much less for traditional volume machines like these, result, resulting in increased production uh, and incre an increased capacity on, on, on the machines that should be doing what they should be doing best. Um, and I think what that means is this, this all results in, a, in an excellent return on investment. Um, it gives you an instrument for producing a whole range of box sizes and styles on demand. Uh, and, and possibly, uh, we're, we're not afraid to admit this, advancing onto something a little bit more uh, automated, uh, a little bit more larger volume. And, and I hope you can see that from the videos and the information that we've shared with you here today. Um, so I suppose that brings us to the end of our second webinar. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed listening uh, and watching. And we look forward to seeing you in two weeks' time for our next webinar and, and hopefully in the live chat here and addressing any particular questions you might have after this presentation. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. Hopefully there was something in there uh, that uh, was of interest. So, yeah, we open now to the floor or to the webinar to any questions that you might have. See you again soon, guys.